All right, the big story on IBN at 7. With onion prices soaring in different parts of the country, the government has finally stepped in. There was a cabinet meet this evening. The government has decided to invoke the Essential Commodities Act and bring onion and potatoes under this particular act. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs has decided to include onions and potatoes under this list. The move will restrict stockpiling and control hoarding. Earlier in the day, the government had raised the minimum export price of onions to 500 US dollars per ton. This is the second raise in two weeks. Earlier, the center had imposed a minimum export price of US dollars 300 per ton on onion to control rising retail prices. We want to panic the country. We don't need to panic. Whatever we have done, we have to do it. And our government is not able to reduce the cost of the cost. हम देश को यह आश्वस्त करना चाहते हैं पैनिक करने की जरूरत नहीं है जो भी आवश्यक कार्रवाई होगी कर रही है और हमारी सरकार कीमतों को कम करने के लिए कटिबद्ध है All right, let's get in the very latest from Arunima, who was tracking that cabinet briefing for us. Arunima, onions have always been a very hot political issue for any government. Just take us through some of the steps that uh, Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad outlined before the media. What we reported earlier in the day that the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs uh, considered a proposal from uh, the Consumer Affairs Ministry that onions should be brought under the Essential Commodities Act and uh, there should be a limit imposed on stockpiling of onions. So, Cabinet uh, Committee on Economic Affairs considered that proposal and uh, approved it. What it essentially means is now there will be a limit uh, for traders, for wholesalers, and for all concerned uh, as to how much of onion stocks they can keep with themselves. How much will that limit be? That the central government uh, and the central cabinet has left to uh, individual state governments. Each state has the liberty to decide for itself what should be the limit that every trader, wholesaler or any other uh, individual should be allowed uh, as far as onion is concerned. Uh, our other food grains, rice, wheat, pulses were already part of this act and hoarding uh, in these uh, where the, was a punishable crime. Now to control uh, the rising prices of onion, the central government has given state governments a tool by bringing onion in that essential commodity act. And Ravi Shankar Prasad expressed hope uh, on behalf of the cabinet that now state governments will crack down on all hoarders so that onion prices uh, not rise artificially. All right, uh, we're joined by Mr. Sharma, a food expert. Uh, Mr. Sharma, can you just tell us about the steps that the government is taking? It has decided to invoke the Essential Commodities Act and bring onions and potatoes under it. Well, I thought that should have been done about a month back and uh, much of the problem could have been addressed uh, if it, had done, it was done earlier. But nevertheless, uh, better late than never. Uh, this was very essential because the um, Essential Commodities Act has not been... Uh, uh, used on, um, or they have been kept out, onion and potato. But I think uh, what the government has done is for one year, I would suggest that it should have been done for all times to come. Why only for one year? You know, mm -hmm. uh, onions and potatoes should be brought under Central Commodities Act and uh, all laws pertaining to hoarding and black marketing should be used against uh, these hoarders. So that's a good step, I must say. Mm -hmm. I would only expect that, uh, you know, it is extended for all times to come and not only for one year. Uh, the other thing that, you know, when they're saying that the, uh, they're adding on to these uh, food uh, uh, supplies for uh, the BPL and APL category, I think it's a good step, keeping in view the monsoon deficiency in the days to come and likelihood of uh, shortage of food somewhere in the country. Right. But I, th I thought the more important thing, if you allow me to say, uh, should be that the government should uh, take onions and potatoes and also agriculture out of the commodities. Uh, uh, commodities trading. That is where the speculation right. takes place. Mr. Sharma, that at the same good. time, the government is blaming things on hoarding, saying that hoarding is a major issue. It's passed repeated directions to various state governments to check hoarding. Do you think this is one of the main reasons for rising onion prices? It is the main reason not only for rising onion prices. In fact, it is the main reason for rising food prices, I would say. And this cuts across all vegetables and fruits. Because, you know, when we talk of onion, onion only symbolizes the other vegetables also. Gobi today is costing 50 rupees a kilo. So it's not only the prices of onion which are going up, other vegetables are also going up. So all I'm saying is there's a need for doing this, and I think it is a good uh, measure that, you know, we have to crack down on hoarding, and hoarding is, as I've been saying for long, is the, is the main reason why the prices have uh, been, uh, you know, rising. Right. Mr. Devinder Sharma, we're staring at a weak monsoon. This is, in fact, uh, pointed out by the government itself. So do you feel that uh, we may have to take these steps for other vegetables, other essential food items in the days to come? Well, most of the food items are under the Commodities Act uh, already. But I'm saying is some of them are out. So I think it is important to bring it under 
uh, defensive commodities act and also uh, more importantly is this uh, future trading you know and uh, you know unless the government also uh, takes it out uh, of of its provisions i don't think uh, speculation will end and as well, let's not forget mr modi when he was the chief minister of gujarat he was heading a committee on uh, for, uh, you know future trading and he had his committee has recommended that agriculture should be taken out of future trading right thanks very much mr devender sharma for joining us and sharing that perspective with us now